It's going to be quick. This is uh, 10 minutes or less getting set up with the Caribou Light on a Raspberry Pi 4 with Dragon OS Pi 64 release 32. Older release, uh, latest has a 6.5 kernel. Um, not able to compile it on there, so grab the uh, slightly older 32 release, or you could grab the R33, I suppose, and reinstall the official. Uh, or the LTS, um, I guess you'd say it is uh, 22.04 uh, 5.15 kernel, which you can get out of the app package for the Raspberry Pi Arch 64. You, I guess you could do that and then remove the 6.5 kernel, and if you were running with a Pi 4, that is. Uh, anyways, I'm meeting into the time here, so I'm going to grab the latest, which you can see there were some updates two days ago. And I'm going to pull it down into my home directory here. This is a brand new flash of uh, the uh, R32 release, which is still up on SourceForge. And there's a couple things I guess I'll say while this is still going here. You can either run a sudo app update and sudo app upgrade before you do what I'm about to show. That way you have the latest kernel, you've rebooted, you're into the latest uh, kernel, uh, 5.15 kernel, um, and then you would proceed. Or um, just to save some time here, I'm going to stay on the kernel that I um, flashed my Pi with or uh, that was on the uh, operating system here. So change into Caribou Lite. I'm going to edit the install file to simply comment out the uh, kernel headers and ras Linux headers, Raspi. I'm not going to change anything. And then I'll do a control shift underscore and go to line 144 that someone had pointed out in uh, one of the github tickets and add sudo in front of there and then I'm going to simply run uh, install.sh put my sudo password in so don't run the install.sh with sudo uh, it will prompt you at some point to enter the sudo password And the other thing is, is I, I've never really had luck, and maybe that's expected right now, to run everything uh, on the Pi itself, uh, because you got to run like sudo in front of uh, anything when you use the Caribou Light as it stands right now, or at the time of this video, or the best of my knowledge. So uh, I typically run sudo soapy sdr, and then somewhere else, another computer uh, connect to that, and it works pretty well. But I did see that. Uh, I was able to run uh, sudo, uh, sudo cubic sdr and uh, so we'll try that and uh, maybe we'll try something with uh, sig digger uh, but this should at least get you going and you probably will find that you have to run um, like soupy or soupy uh, soda or, oh my gosh soapy uh, server on the pi or you could maybe run um, I haven't checked it, but you might be able to run SDR++ server with sudo and then connect to it elsewhere. Or at least I haven't checked it recently. I guess I should point out, let's see, at the time of this uh, video you can see the uh, commit there so in case something changes um, I hadn't looked at line 40 but it's fine the uh, Ubuntu is already in uh, dial out
All right, so it uh, built, and we need to make a couple changes here before we reboot. So sudo nano boot firmware config.txt. And let's see, we'll comment out. So please disable. Yep, yep, and we'll add the following. Okay, we'll do a sudo soapy utility find. There is our caribou thing. You're seeing the SDR play API because you need to install that. But if I do soapy, let's see, server bind. Now, ideally, I would just go to another computer and connect to the Pi. Uh, but just to show you that it is working, we'll do uh, sudo cubic SDR. Let's see. Do we'll try from the So there you go. There's some audio. It's working. I can turn the frequencies up and down.